Hi shiny lights. I'm going to talk about the three reasons why people get readings and the mysterious fourth one that you might not have thought about. All right, you've probably had readings yourself and you probably know why you went for a reading and it's usually clarity, the first one. Clarity is like, where am I going? What am I doing? To get a little bit of direction. I'm not really sure. So you get a second opinion. You get someone, hopefully, with their eye in the sky so they can look at it from a different point of view. And if you're anything like me, you probably want that reader to really get you. You want them to totally understand you by describing your situation. You don't really want them to jump into guidance straight away. You want to feel like they really get you first. And then once you go, oh yeah, my goodness, they really understand me. Oh yeah, I'll listen to what they have to say. So clarity is the first one. And the next one is insight. Number two, as readers, it's our job to provide a different viewpoint, maybe a higher spiritual viewpoint, or to provide something else that they can't see. Because that's why they're coming to us. They've got their little muggle goggles on, right? And they're paying us for another opinion or another viewpoint. So make sure you can tune into the highest thing you possibly can to understand it from a different perspective. And the third one is direction. They don't know which way to go. They're at a crossroads in their life. Something's happened. They're in a transition period. Normally that's why people get readings. They're looking for a direction. Maybe they just want confirmation of a direction they already have in mind. But people do normally come for direction and that's what we need to provide options. And here's the fourth one, one that you might not have considered, which is so, so important in a reading. The fourth one is comfort, comfort. The idea of being heard, of being acknowledged, of being understood, that, hey, someone's in their corner and they're listening and barracking. Not only that, but maybe they have a feeling of like, yeah, maybe spirit's in my corner too. Maybe I'm not alone. Maybe I am always loved. These are the other reasons why people get reading. And often, if we can give nothing else in a reading, nothing else, if the reading just falls flat and it's just like, Bleh, right? If we can give comfort to that person, we have done our job. Remember, our, our job isn't to save their lives or change it or give them the great answer to everything, is just to give a little moment where we might have touched their soul just to touch their soul in some way. And the best way we can do that is to let them know that they're always loved and never alone. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into what your job is. If you're taking it on and feeling, oh my God, how am I gonna do all this? We can't be all things to all people, but we can cover those three bases and the magical fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> But we can cover those three bases and the magical fourth one. And if you'd like a hand with that, I have a handy little guide that helps you make a container for your amazing reading so you can touch all those bases and deliver the nuggets and be totally professional when you do it. If you'd like to grab that, I've got the link below. Thanks again for watching. Ciao. Okay, if you've always...